First of all, you make a skin incision. After you make a deep incision, you insert the injury retractor. In detail of an injury retractor insertion, you flip the lower retractor ring upward through the hole using fingers. I will show you one more time in different view. And then you insert the injury retractor by pushing the tip of the flipped ring into the incision. You push the rest of the injury retractor to go inside. And make a retraction by pulling out the silicon into four sides. And anchor them to the four connection points. It will be much easier to make a retraction with an assistance. I will show you one more time. Then you place silicone protector for an option and attach the port cap to the injury retractor. I will show you the attachment in detail. There are four connectors on port cap and there are four connection points on injury retractor. You place them in the right position and push them hard until you hear the snap sound. This port cap can be rotated in 360 degrees for surgeon's preference during the surgery. There are four ports and their sizes are made to insert appropriate size of instruments. 5mm instruments can be easily inserted into all ports. As you see, you take out the blue cap to insert 10mm scope. If you pull out the big blue port, you can insert 12mm endocoder. And if you separate the blue port from the silicon, you can insert a circular stapler. Each pore made with the silicon is very flexible for surgeons to control the instrument very easily. For the detachment, you just need to disengage those four connections by pushing the port cap and retractor frame in opposite directions. You can easily take out the injury retractor by pulling out the remover with grasper.